Hello everyone, welcome to Clashing Coder. So in this video, we will see the question that is find all numbers disappeared in an array. So it is an easy level question on the lead code platform and let's see the problem statement. So given an array of integers where uh, i and uh, that means the uh, every, every element in the array lies between 1 to n inclusive that is and the n will be the size of the array. Some elements appear twice and others appear once. So find all the elements of 1 to n inclusive range that uh, does not appear or do not appear in this array. Could you uh, do it without extra space and O of n, o of, uh, n runtime? You may assume the return list uh, does not count as extra space. So that means we are given an array and all the elements in the array will lie between 1 to n. Uh, 1 to n that means it will be equal to n also if this is uh, for example this array is of size of 8 so there will be elements from 1 to 8 not 0 to 8 actually so we will have to like make the word indices 1 plus, uh, plus 1 so that's why so let's see so in this uh, example we can see uh, 4 3 2 7 8 and 2 and 3 are repeating that's here uh, you can see here and 1 so 5 and 6 are missing so actually we have to return the or uh, return the vector of uh, int integers with which is containing the missing numbers so 5 and 6 are missing in this example so we have to also do it in uh, without extra space and o of n uh, runtime so we will see both approaches uh, like a brute force approach then the this optimal approach so let's see how we can solve this so first of all if you see this question then you can simply think of a normal solution that uh, the layman can think also so uh, that will be like see you can simply make a set from this array so if you make a set from this array then all the duplicate elements will be deleted so if you see we can simply make a set 1 2 3 4 5 and uh, sorry 5 and 6 and uh in 7 and 8 so uh, 5 and 6 are missing sorry so our set will be as this so you can see this is our set that is formed now we have to do is we will run a loop from 1 to n so then we will run a loop 1 to n then we will find if the value is present in set so it is present we will do nothing but if the value that that index we are using like we will run from uh, you can see the pseudo code also we will make the set then we will run a loop from 1 to n then we will check if i is present in set or not if it is not present for example i will run from 1 to n so it will check 1 is present yes 2 is present 3 is present 4 is present but 5 is not present so it will add it to result or we can simply print the result which is not present or the value of 6 but we this will be not a solution that we are searching for because we have to do it in o of one time and interview will also like expect you to optimize this uh, the space complexity so let's see so actually uh, i will uh, like uh, give you a disclaimer that uh, if you haven't watched the video of the find the duplicate elements in the array uh, the first video that i posted in this series of the lead, uh, lead code or and the interview questions so you should check that out because it will you this video will use the concept of that video only that is using the negative uh, using these elements as the indices for uh, making them negative so let's see how we can solve this so uh, this is a given example that we have uh, like not given example but this is an example uh, that is normal and correct you can see here all the elements in this array are these are the indices you can see these 0 1 2 uh, 0 to 5 are indices and these are the elements if you see all the elements present uh, are present over here like you can see, you can see from uh, between 1 to 6 you can see 1 2 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 so in this array all the elements are present so what uh, if we use uh, the elements as an index to mark the uh, element at that index as negative so, for example i am telling you that if we use uh, if we iterate over this array that is from uh, starting from this point that is i0 till 5 we'll check uh, we will uh, take 4 we will use 4 uh, in 4 as the index 4 minus uh, 1 actually because we have to make it a zero based index so we will use 4 minus 1 so 4 minus 1 will be this 3 so 4 minus 1 will be 3 so we will mark this index as negative so basically we are using this element as index to mark the other elements uh, negative uh, that's why so now if you see if we uh, like traverse this whole array so 6 6 minus 1 will be 5 so th this is the fifth index so we will make it make it as negative 1 minus 0 will be 0 so we will make it as negative and similarly all the elements will be uh, getting negative so you can see if all the elements in the array are present correctly between 1 to n then all the indices or the all the elements at the particular all the indexes will be as marked as negative because no element is missing now you can see all the elements are marked as negative because we have all the values so that's why now if you see for example if we have uh, like for example if we are not given we'll just remove these negative signs and i will show you now the concept 
actually i hope you understood this actually this thing now if we delete this value for example we delete this uh, 6 and we make it as a uh, 5 only so now if you see now all elements are not present in this array and one element is repeating so that's why now if you see now we start uh, again traversing this array and we mark the fourth index uh, 4 minus 1 as a negative that is 3 so then we mark it as negative and we go to 5 5 minus uh, this 4 it will be negative now if you go to 1 1 minus uh, z, 1 minus 1 that is 0 negative and then we go to this index that is 3 3 minus uh, uh, 1 that is 2 we will mark it as negative 2 and we will mark this as negative now if you see we go to 5 now 5 is already uh, like uh, if you do 5 minus 1 so it will be 4 so 4 is already negative but we don't have to make it negative so now if you see one index uh, or the one element at particular index which was missing is not marked as negative so we will be uh, not having all the elements marked as negative because the index is missing so we need a value as a uh, value 6 to mark this index that is 6 minus 1 as 5 as the negative so that's why we have a missing value so we can simply find this value by uh, traversing this array now we will see if the value or the particular index is positive so that means the value uh, the index that is 5 5 plus 1 element is missing 5 plus 1 element is missing that is 6 so you can see it is a correct because 6 is missing yeah it is true so that's why uh, this concept we will use so let's see how we can solve this so in this uh, th uh, i have taken the example from the lead code only so this is a given array and these are the indices uh, indices these are the indices and these are the elements so this will be our pseudo code actually so we will start reversing the array from 0 to n and i also forgot to tell you that if uh, for example the element the elements are repeating also we know that so what we have to do is uh, uh, we have marked the 5 minus 1 that is 4 in uh, 4 ele uh, element at 4 index as negative so we will simply uh, when we get to this point that is 5 so it will be also pointing to this point 4 so what we will do is we will uh, take absolute value of minus 2 let me write it actually uh, absolute value we will take absolute value of minus 2 and make it as negative because we want to uh, keep it as negative so that is uh, if we make it positive so it will give us a wrong answer that will be we will uh, it will show that 5 4 plus 1 that is 5 fifth value is missing but it is not true so that's why we will keep the negative value as negative we will not make it as positive it will be used if we want to find the repeating elements but that is not the case so let's see so this will be a pseudo code so i will run from 0 to n that will traverse the whole array and for every element we will uh, take its absolute value Abs why absolute value because i told you if it is already negative then we will uh, end up making it a positive value so we want to keep it as negative so what we'll do is we will go to i a of i minus 1 sorry not i actually this will, should be current minus 1 this is current value because we are making it as positive current minus one why minus one because we have to make it as zero based indexing it is uh, like uh, it is between one to n but we need to uh, keep the uh, subtract the minus one from every element so that's why so we will what we'll do is we will uh, make the a of current minus one as negative value if it is positive we will take is uh, if it is negative we will take its absolute value and make it as negative so it stays negative then what we will do is we will run the loop through to the whole array and we will check if the value is positive or greater than zero then we can simply return its index plus one value that will be the missing value let's see and then this code uh, the, the code on this example let's see so uh, first we are on this index so what we'll do is we will go to four minus one index so current will be our uh, like, let me write it so our current is four so what we need uh, 4 is already positive so absolute value will not make any difference so what we'll do is we will go to 4 minus 1 that is 3 so this value as 7 and we will make it as a negative so we'll make it as negative so now we'll come to this point that is 3 so now we get 3 so 3 minus 1 will be 2 so this is the point that we are on and we will make it as absolute value or negative take its absolute value and make it as negative now we will go to uh, this value so it is already negative so what we'll do is we will take the absolute value of this uh, minus 2 and then we will do 2 minus 1 that is 1 and make it as negative so this is what we are doing and uh, now we are on minus 7 so we will take again its absolute value because we need to map it to the index so 7 minus 1 will be 6 and it is positive so it is positive and we will make it negative so uh, here will be so minus 3 so now we are on 8 so 8 minus uh, like 1 will be 7 so we will make this also negative now if you see we are on 2 now 2 will be minus or 2 minus 1 that will be 1 so if you see 1 is already negative the value at 1 is already negative minus 3 so what we'll do is we will take absolute value of minus 3 it will become 3 and then we will, we will again make it minus 1 
it uh, you can already you can add a condition also if it is greater than if it is less than zero so we not need to do anything but i have written like this so it will say as it is now what we'll do is we will come to this point that is uh, actually we have uh, uh yeah we will come to this point that is three so three minus one uh we have done that so uh actually i forgot where we so now we will come to minus one so we will take the absolute value of minus one that will be one and minus one minus one that will be zero so now we will make this value as negative so now you can see what we are left with all elements are negative except these elements that are eight and two so this will be our uh the every after first loop uh, in the original array so now what we'll do is we will run a loop for every element we will check if it is greater than zero uh, if it is greater than zero that means it has not been marked and that particular index value is missing so what we'll do we'll run this loop when i will come here at this point it will see the element is missing or uh, actually positive that is a uh, positive so what we'll do is we have to return a one based indexing answer not a zero based so we will do i plus one so value will be five so you can see five is missing four plus one that will be five is missing and if you see the for the other value that is uh, it is also negative or uh, positive so if you see this now 5 plus 1 will be 6 so you can see we have got our answer the missing values are 5 and 6 i hope you got the concept how we are using this because uh, like if we want to mark every index as negative so we want uh, every element as negative we want all the values to be present if there is a single value that is not present then that uh, particular index which it maps to will not be becoming a uh, uh, negative and it will be positive stay positive so that will be the missing element so it will take only n time o of n time and o of n space because we are using the original array only so let's see the code so actually i have also shown the like i hope i have also shown the this code that is using the set method so you can see this code is simple but uh, it won't be like i won't suggest you to use this because it is not a, it is a given in the question that we need to do in uh, of one space so you can see in this i have simply created the unordered set that is a set using this numbers array that we are got getting arrays vector or you can say then we will run a loop from i is equal to one to uh, till numbers dot size and we will simply find if the value is present in the array or not the set or not then we will return so this won't be a recommended method so let's see uh, we need to code the solution number so we will create a vector of result because we have to return the result and then we will do one thing that is we will run a loop from i is equal to zero till i less than numbers dot size and i plus plus okay then we will see uh, actually we will create a current value we will take the absolute value of the particular uh, element and we will see uh, we will make it as negative so to do that we will do num numbers and current minus one is equal to negative of absolute value of numbers and current uh, current minus one to make it as zero based indexing so now we will be getting the array that we want uh, that we want as a negative all the elements marked as negative except those which are missing so now we will have to run a loop again for i is equal to zero less than numbers dot size and i plus plus now we have to do is uh, we will check if the particular element numbers of i is greater than zero then we can add it to result our result vector or so you should use m placeback function here instead of pushback because it is faster than the pushback so we will simply add i plus one to this uh, vector and return the result so i hope this works and i haven't made any errors so so yeah uh, let's submit it so let's see so yes, so you can see I got the solution submitted. So let's submit it again. Maybe the time complexity changes this uh, time to run. So yeah, you can see it ran faster than 95.78% of solution and it was uh, taking less memory than it almost 89% of solutions. So this was the solution guys. I hope you liked the video and I will provide the code in the description also for your reference. And I hope you understood the concept behind this method and I really uh, highly recommend you to watch the video that I posted. I will post the link also in the i button that is for the find all the duplicate elements in the array and the missing element also. So I hope you like this video. Do like this video and subscribe to the channel guys. Thank you for watching.